Welcome viewers to another TV Box Stop presentation. In today's video, I have a mini computer. And this one is the Ace PC T9, Intel Windows 10 Mini PC. I haven't done one of these mini PCs in a while which means that there should be some degree of improvement. So after the break, let's see what this one can deliver, so stay tuned, we have more in a moment. Welcome back. So this is the box the T9 Mini PC comes in. And to the back here it shows that the Mini PC runs on an Intel Cherry Trail Atom Z8350 CPU, which is a quad-core CPU. It runs on Windows 10 operating system, on 4GB of RAM, and 32GB of internal storage. It also has dual-band Wi-Fi support, and this one comes with Bluetooth 4.0 also. So I'll do a quick unboxing and continue with the rest of the review. So in the box, you have the T9 Mini PC itself. You get one HDMI cable. A 5 volts 2.5 amps universal DC power adapter with interchangeable plugs. You get an external antenna. And a quick setup user's guide. Please take note that this is a mini PC and not an Android TV box and it doesn't come with a mouse and keyboard or a remote control. However, any regular USB mouse and keyboard will work as well as Bluetooth Air mouse and mini touchpad keyboards. Let's examine its design. The housing is made of mostly metal, with some plastic parts around the edges. To the back, you have one HDMI port, one RJ45 Ethernet LAN port, you have one SPDIF port, a micro USB port, and your DC power input. To the side, you have one USB 2.0 port, and one USB 3.0 along with a micro SD card reader. There's nothing on the other side. To the front, you have an LED power light power button. And to the bottom, there are no ventilation holes. So I'll connect this device to my monitor or TV and move on to the next segment. So the connection is fairly simple. And as I turn on the device and Windows starts to load, what you'll see is the Ace PC logo before Windows boots up, and then Windows continues with its usual startup process. The startup process starts like a regular new PC for the first time where you'll have to enter your username and password, along with your Wi-Fi network information etc. So we're at the Windows home screen where I already went ahead and pre-install all my programs necessary to complete my review. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this review in a way similar to the way I conduct my Android TV box reviews, so that you can get a sense of the difference in performance between a mini PC and an Android TV box. First, let's take a look at its hardware information. I'm using the same apps used in my TV box reviews, but just that it's the Windows version of these apps. For this hardware information I'm using the AIDA64 Extreme app. Now, the information in this app is overwhelming, so I'll stick to the information that's relevant to persons who may be interested in this PC. So under summary, it shows that the CPU is the quad-core Intel Atom X 5Z8350 processor, running up to 1.9 GHz, on an Intel Cherry Trail motherboard chipset. It comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage, as the remainder is shown below here. And I'll show more information on the RAM and internal storage in just a minute. The GPU is the Tri-Core Intel HD graphics processor, and you'll also have more on the GPU in just a minute. It has a Broadcom Ethernet LAN adapter, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter. If I open the overclock tab, here you'll see that the CPU actually runs at 1.4 GHz by default, but it's running at 1.9 GHz because it's being overclocked by 33%. It's just enough to maintain stable operation, but be mindful of the stress levels and temperatures of the PC as it could tip the device into a blue screen freeze if you're not careful. Under the GPU tab, 
Here it shows the name of the video adapter, and below it shows the GPU is an integrated chipset with a clock speed of 500 MHz, and a GPU RAM speed of 350 MHz. If I go back and open the sensors tab, here it shows that the motherboard and the CPU cores run between 40 to 50 degrees Celsius under normal room temperature. And below here, if this info is relevant to you, you have the different voltages of the CPU cores. If I open the memory devices tab, here it shows that the RAM is a 4GB DDR3 form factor, clocked at 1066MHz on a 64-bit data width. That basically sums up the hardware information, and I'll now move on to the benchmarks. First I'll show the results of the RAM, internal storage, and SD card read and write speeds. The AIDA64 Extreme has a built-in benchmark tool for this test and these are the results. It shows that the ACE PCT9 has a RAM copy speed of 5812 megabytes per second, and these are the read and write speeds. The internal storage has a read speed of 134 megabytes per second, and the SD card reader has a read speed of 21. And as I switch over to the write results you can see that the SD card reader has a write speed of 12 megabytes per second. However, there's no write speed results for the internal storage as it requires erasing the drive, and that will literally crash the PC. In comparison to an Android TV box that scores around 2000 to 3000 on the RAM copy speed results. These scores on the T9 indicates that this mini PC is twice as powerful in RAM and internal storage performance. I now show the results of the Antutu benchmark. This is the Windows version of the same Android app used to benchmark TV boxes. The results show that the T9 got an Antutu score of 78232. In comparison to a TV box that scores between 30,000 and 50,000 at most, this mini PC is way above the mark, and shows the difference between an Intel processor and other CPUs used in TV boxes. I now show the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, and this is the Windows version of this popular Android app. And the results show that the T9 got a score of 914 single core, and 2331 multi core. And again we see the vast difference between these Intel Micro Form Factor processors and the others used in Android TV boxes. For my final results, I have the IceStorm Extreme GPU benchmark, the advanced Windows version of the Android app and part of a series of tests specific to your GPU hardware. In the end, the T9 got an IceStorm Extreme score of 10435. This score is twice as high than your regular TV box that scores around 4 to 5,000 at most. So after looking at over 7 minutes of hardware information and technical jargon, I hope that it was not a bit of a turnoff for some viewers, as this information is usually requested by others, and it may well have been important for them. So as I move on to the next segment, the question is, what can you do with this mini PC? Well for starters, this is a fully functional Windows 10 operating system, which means that you can basically do anything you would normally do on a desktop or laptop, just on a much smaller device and with less power range. For example, you can install the latest Microsoft Office tools like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel spreadsheet. This is great, because it means that this can serve as a great backup in times of failure of your main computer. You can also install your favorite browser and browse the web using programs like Google Chrome or Firefox just to name a few. Once you can browse the web, you know how important protection is. You have the freedom to install any antivirus software of your choice to protect your mini PC from harmful software. Here you can see I've installed a vast antivirus software which works really well on this device. So besides browsing the web and using social media, you can use this device as a source of watching online media, much like a TV box so to speak. This mini PC comes with an HDMI port, which means you can connect it to a large monitor, an HDTV, or even a projector. Anything with an HDMI input you can connect it to. If you are one of those persons who would like to watch movies and videos on YouTube and Netflix or any other premium services, this mini PC can perform that job too. I'll just demonstrate a YouTube video, and a Netflix video in HD.
As you saw both YouTube and Netflix can play in HD, but the YouTube video struggled to play in 4K quality with lots of buffering. I'll now play some 4K video samples all at 60 frames per second in various formats. That didn't go so well. Out of the 8 videos only these two managed to play, with the others freezing and refusing to play. For my final demonstration, I'm playing Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition. The game is the right size for this mini PC, about 1.8 gigabytes in size, so let's take in some racing action.
The game ran okay, but it's not the same quality and performance you would have on a gaming desktop. In summary, the Ace PC T9 is a great little computer that runs on some great hardware. You can literally do anything on this PC that you would do on a regular desktop or laptop within the confines of its speed and storage. You can use it as a TV box if you'd like, and watch Netflix and other streaming movie services online in HD quality. On the downside, the T9 has some codex issues that prevented it from playing most of my 4K video samples. The PC could have done with some extra USB ports, and they could have included an air mouse or mini touchpad keyboard. So I have come to the end of my review. If you are interested in this mini PC, see the link in the description area for more information and a great discount on this device. Thanks for watching, and remember to like this video if the presentation was informative, share it with friends, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more TV box stop videos.